Now, how do we protect our planet from devastating asteroids? How do we avoid a rather naturally occurring incident that wiped out dinosaurs from the face of the Earth? Asteroid impacts have always captured our imagination. Though rare, we occasionally hear news about asteroids making contact with Earth. They're also a staple of disaster movies, and for good reason. One such impact is believed to have triggered the mass extinction event that wiped out 76% of all species, including the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Was this an isolated incident, or could it happen again? And if a large asteroid were on a collision course with Earth, could we use modern technology to prevent catastrophe and ensure our survival? Join me as we explore the DART mission, humanity's first attempt to alter an asteroid's trajectory to safeguard our planet from future existential threats. Major asteroid impacts have profoundly shaped Earth's history. In the early solar system, one of the most significant collisions may have formed the Moon when a Mars-sized body, Theia, struck a young Earth. Later, asteroid impacts likely delivered much of the water that now fills our oceans. But these same collisions have also caused devastating extinctions. The Chicxulub impact, for instance, left behind a massive crater and is believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Interestingly, there's an inverse relationship between the size of an asteroid and the frequency of its collisions with Earth. Small objects collide with us often, but impacts involving larger asteroids are exceedingly rare. As the solar system ages, such events have become even less common. When asteroids collide, they either shatter into smaller fragments or become part of larger celestial bodies like planets. Earth gains approximately 15,000 tons of material each year from meteors entering its atmosphere. Asteroid impacts are more frequent than you might think, though most go unnoticed. Meteors, often referred to as shooting stars, are typically tiny, ranging from the size of a grain of sand to small stones only a few centimeters across. These objects burn up in Earth's atmosphere before reaching the surface. In fact, Earth's atmosphere is struck by about 25 million meteors every day. On any given day, the largest of these meteors is likely to measure around 40 centimeters in diameter. Over the course of a year, the biggest meteor might reach four meters, and once every century, a meteor at least 20 meters across enters our atmosphere. The fragments that survive their fiery descent and reach Earth's surface are called meteorites. These objects are generally larger than typical shooting stars, but by the time they land, they are often no bigger than a brick. As they streak through the atmosphere, they create brilliant trails of light, known as fireballs, due to their intense heat and speed. Occasionally, larger meteors make it through. Approximately every 2,000 years, a meteor around 100 meters in diameter impacts Earth, causing widespread destruction both from the collision itself and the accompanying airburst. Then there are truly catastrophic objects, asteroids over 10 kilometers in size, that could threaten entire civilizations. These collisions occur only once every several million years, making the likelihood of such an event in our lifetime extremely low. One advantage of larger objects is that they're easier to detect. Scientists are confident that they've identified nearly all near-Earth asteroids over 10 kilometers in diameter. However, smaller, harder-to-detect objects still pose a significant threat on a regional scale. A stark reminder of this danger occurred in 2013, when a 20-meter-wide meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia. The explosion injured approximately 1,500 people, demonstrating the destructive potential of even relatively small space objects. The shockwave from the explosion damaged roughly 7,200 buildings across six cities. Remarkably, no fatalities were reported during this event. However, imagine the devastating consequences if a similar incident occurred in a densely populated area. The outcome would undoubtedly be catastrophic. This highlights the critical need to detect and mitigate such threats before they materialize. One effective approach is identifying and tracking space objects that could pose a danger to Earth, a task we're now accomplishing faster and more efficiently than ever. Over the past 20 years, astronomers have identified more than 20,000 potentially hazardous asteroids with about 30 new discoveries each week. Most of these objects follow harmless trajectories, but what would we do if one was found to be on a collision course with our planet? 
This was precisely the challenge NASA sought to address with its DART mission, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. DART was a collaborative effort involving NASA, the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, and international partners from Italy, Japan, and the European Space Agency. Its ambitious goal was to alter an asteroid's trajectory by crashing a spacecraft into it. Before DART, scientists proposed several other strategies to prevent asteroid collisions. One idea was deploying a spacecraft to act as a gravity tractor. If launched early enough, the spacecraft's gravitational pull could gradually nudge the asteroid off its collision course. While this concept might sound far-fetched, NASA published a report in 2015 suggesting it was a viable solution under the right conditions. Another, more dramatic proposal involved detonating a nuclear device near the asteroid to break it apart. Despite its popularity in movies like Armageddon, this approach has significant drawbacks. Asteroids are often loosely bound collections of rock and dust, so while an explosion might fragment the object, the resulting debris could retain its momentum. Instead of a single impact, Earth could face a deadly spread of smaller, yet still dangerous fragments. A more unconventional idea suggested using reflective mirrors to focus sunlight on the asteroid. By heating a specific area, this could cause outgassing, similar to how comets expel gas when they approach the sun. The released gases could propel the asteroid onto a different trajectory, moving it safely away from Earth. Ultimately, DART's creators chose a simpler and more direct method, a kinetic impact. Rather than blowing up the asteroid, the mission aimed to hit it just hard enough to alter its orbit. This concept had been tested before with comets, making it a practical and proven strategy. With the plan in place, mission planners needed a suitable target for their test, and they chose the asteroid Dimorphos. This asteroid was discovered relatively recently, in 2003. It is a small moon in a binary system, orbiting a larger asteroid known as Didymos which had been identified earlier, in 1996, by the Space Watch Project in Arizona. Dimorphos, measuring just 160 meters in diameter, is much smaller than Didymos, which spans 780 meters. It completes an orbit around Didymos in 11.9 hours, maintaining a distance of roughly one kilometer from its larger counterpart. The entire system orbits the Sun every 2.1 Earth years and made its closest approach to Earth in October 2022 coming within 10.6 million kilometers, the nearest it had been since its discovery. This proximity made it the ideal target for NASA's mission, as it was relatively easy to reach. Importantly, even if its orbit were altered, scientists were confident it posed no threat to Earth. With the target selected, NASA set out to design a spacecraft capable of achieving the deflection. Unlike many other spacecraft, DART was relatively simple in design. It was about the size of a refrigerator, weighing just 610 kilograms, a fraction of Dimorphos's estimated mass of 5 billion kilograms. DART was equipped with a single primary instrument, an aperture camera called DRACO, short for Didymos Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation. It also featured sensors and an autonomous navigation system. Accompanying DART was a small secondary spacecraft called LICIA-CUBE. Developed by the Italian space agency ASI, this CubeSat added a unique element to the mission, making it a binary spacecraft visiting a binary asteroid system. Weighing only 14 kilograms and measuring about 30 centimeters in length, Lycia Cube carried two optical cameras named Luke and Leah, a nod to Star Wars fans, and was designed to detach from DART 15 days before the impact. Its mission was to observe and capture the collision and its aftermath. DART itself was built to operate autonomously. The vast distance between Earth and the spacecraft caused a communication delay, making real-time control impractical. This meant DART needed to locate Dimorphos, identify the optimal impact point, and adjust its trajectory, all on its own. For this, it relied on its smart nav system, an advanced optical navigation tool capable of distinguishing between the two asteroids and precisely directing the spacecraft toward its target. Impressively, all of this took place within just an hour of the scheduled impact. Launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on November 23, 2021, DART embarked on a 10-month journey to its destination. Four hours before the collision, when it was 90,000 kilometers away, DART's autonomous navigation system assumed full control. 90 minutes before impact, 
the smart nav system fine-tuned the spacecraft's trajectory. By the time it was 24,000 kilometers away, Dimorphos appeared on Draco's camera, taking up just 1.4 pixels in the image. One of Draco's last images captured both Dimorphos and Didymos in a single frame. As Dart closed in on its target at a speed of 22,000 kilometers per hour, Dimorphos and the precise impact site became increasingly clear. Just three seconds before impact, Draco provided a stunning close-up image, revealing Dimorphos as a loosely bound pile of rubble, debris left over from the formation of the solar system. This incredible photograph marks Dart's final fully transmitted image, captured just two seconds before impact from a mere 12 kilometers away. For context, the resolution of the image is approximately 3 centimeters per pixel, and here is Dart's very last image, partially transmitted before the signal was lost due to its dramatic and pre-planned disassembly. Strangely enough, this incomplete image is perhaps the most striking of all. Its fragmented nature seems to freeze the intensity of the moment, encapsulating the sheer drama of Dart's 17.5 million kilometer journey, culminating in a split-second collision. DART executed its mission with astounding precision, a true testament to the ingenuity and meticulous planning of NASA's team. The entire sequence of its final approach was recorded, and can be viewed as a time-lapse. This video condenses the last 5.5 minutes of DART's journey, showcasing its trajectory. Some frames appear slightly blurred due to vibrations caused by DART's ion thrusters, but the clarity of other images, considering the speed and proximity of the target, is nothing short of astonishing. The spacecraft managed to capture clear shots of such a small, fast-approaching object, a feat that speaks volumes about the engineering behind its onboard systems. Now, the question on everyone's mind, was the impact a success? The answer is an emphatic yes. Not only did DART achieve its goal, but the results also exceeded expectations. NASA had set a benchmark for success as a change of at least 73 seconds in Dimorphos's orbital period. However, post-impact analysis revealed that the asteroid's orbit was shortened by an incredible 32 minutes, from 11 hours and 55 minutes to 11 hours and 23 minutes, more than 25 times the mission's minimum goal. Even accounting for a margin of error of two minutes, this outcome is extraordinary. The collision unleashed 19 gigajoules of energy, equivalent to nearly five tons of TNT, carving out a crater approximately 150 meters wide, remarkable for a moon only 160 meters across. The impact not only altered Dimorphos' orbital period, but also reshaped its orbit and physical structure. Originally, Dimorphos followed a nearly circular path around Didymos, but the impact elongated this orbit. Over the weeks following the collision, the orbital period gradually settled to 11 hours, 22 minutes, and 3 seconds. Additionally, the asteroid's shape underwent a significant transformation. Pre-impact, Dimorphos had an oblate spheroid shape, resembling a slightly flattened ball. Afterward, it became a triaxial ellipsoid, similar in shape to an elongated watermelon. This change highlights the delicate, loosely bound nature of rubble pile asteroids like Dimorphos. Their weak gravitational cohesion allows for dramatic shape alterations when struck with sufficient force. Despite these significant changes, scientists have confirmed that Didymos's orbit remains stable and will never intersect with Earth's path. For a hypothetical Earth-bound asteroid, however, this experiment demonstrates how even a small nudge, applied far enough in advance, could alter its trajectory enough to avert a collision. But what caused the impact to shorten Dimorphos's orbit so drastically? Let's explore the fascinating science behind this phenomenon. The impact from DART pushed Dimorphos closer to Didymos due to orbital mechanics, which caused the smaller asteroid's orbital speed to increase. Scientists verified this through observations made with ground-based optical telescopes, including the Southern Astrophysical Research Telescope, SOAR, in Chile. SOAR also captured some of the most stunning images of the aftermath including a spectacular photo of a 10,000-kilometer debris trail resembling a comet taken two days after the collision. Because Didymos and Dimorphos form a binary system, their combined brightness changes as Dimorphos moves through Didymos's shadow and back into the light.
By analyzing these light curves, researchers were able to calculate Dimorphos's new orbital speed. These findings were corroborated by radar data gathered from observatories in California and West Virginia. However, Earth-based telescopes weren't the only ones capturing the event. The closest and most detailed images came from LICIAQ, the small companion spacecraft. As mentioned earlier, Lisha Cube detached from DART two weeks before the collision to prepare for its own flyby using autonomous navigation. Just two minutes and 45 seconds after impact, Lisha Cube passed by Dimorphos, capturing incredible images of the impact site and the evolving plumes of debris. Here's a particularly dynamic image showing the aftermath, with Didymos appearing overexposed in the foreground. You can clearly see massive plumes of material erupting from Dimorphos, with some spiraling in patterns resembling twisting vines. These spirals suggest that the ejected material shifted directions as it expanded, likely influenced by the asteroid's composition. Laboratory impact tests on mixed fine and coarse debris have produced similar results, providing clues to the asteroid's makeup. Another, more distant image from Lycia Cube reveals Dimorphos almost obscured by the enormous clouds of material kicked up by the collision. Observations weren't limited to Lycia Cube, though. Both the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, captured the event as well. Hubble documented the evolution of the plume's invisible light, revealing rays of debris emanating from Dimorphos. Interestingly, some of these rays appeared curved, a phenomenon that NASA has yet to fully explain. Meanwhile, Webb used its infrared instruments to track the event, even though Dimorphos was moving at speeds three times faster than Webb's tracking systems were designed to handle. A time lapse from Webb spans the moments before impact to five hours afterward, highlighting a sudden burst of light from the released material. The images also beautifully illustrate the spiraling nature of the plumes, a testament to the precision of Webb's infrared capabilities. In the months ahead, scientists will continue analyzing data from DART's impact, but the deeper investigation lies in the hands of HERA, a follow-up mission led by the European Space Agency. HERA launched on October 7, 2024, and is expected to reach the Didymo system by 2026. Equipped with advanced instruments like cameras, a spectrometer, and an altimeter, HERA will conduct a detailed survey of the crater left by DART. More intriguingly, it will explore Dimorphos' internal and subsurface structures, advancing our understanding of the asteroid's composition and the mechanics of kinetic energy transfer. This research will provide critical insights into how near-Earth objects, NEOs, react to momentum transfers and how their physical properties influence the dispersal of debris after impacts. All of this will contribute to a deeper understanding of how DART's kinetic impact worked and serve as a valuable framework for enhancing asteroid deflection strategies in the future. When combined with upcoming initiatives like NASA's NEO Surveyor mission, designed to locate at least 90% of asteroids 140 meters or larger, humanity is, for the first time, taking proactive steps to significantly lower the risk of a catastrophic asteroid collision, akin to the one that likely caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. While NASA already monitors most near-Earth objects, NEOs, certain types, like dark comets, are more elusive because they reflect very little visible light. The NEO Surveyor mission, planned for launch in 2028, aims to address this challenge by scanning the solar system in infrared wavelengths. This technology will detect these hidden objects by capturing the heat they emit after being warmed by the sun. Additionally, the mission will be capable of identifying asteroids approaching Earth from areas previously considered blind spots, such as those coming from the direction of the Sun. These are often missed by ground-based telescopes because of solar glare. With this capability, even the most difficult to detect NEOs will come into view, making it possible to act on threats early. Coupled with the success of DART's technology, these advancements form a robust defense system that can protect our planet from potential asteroid impacts. And there you have it everything you'd want to know about the groundbreaking DART mission. While we are still in the early stages of developing asteroid deflection technology, the success of this mission marks an exciting and promising step forward for planetary defense. What do you think? Was this mission worth it? Do you believe this technology will need to be deployed in our lifetimes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into space exploration, 
and the science shaping our world. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep looking up.